It's Wes, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna to talk about what's in my camera bag. This is the bag I carry right now when I go out and shoot and share with you some of the changes that have happened for me in photography this year. I'm gonna set a timer and we're gonna do this as quickly as possible. First, we're not gonna talk about this, which is a cool little bag I picked up for street photography and the X100V from Fuji goes in there. We're not gonna talk about that. Although there is something new in my bag and sometimes I wear this when I go out and shoot, uh, but we're not gonna talk about that either. You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first one to tell you that. Today, we're gonna talk about this right here. This is the bag that I carry right now when I go out and shoot. Uh, first, I have a little bendy pod here from Lanco. Uh, it's nice, I'll put the link below for any of these things that you may be interested in. And on the side, I have a GoPro case uh, in these little net pouches. And I have a, now this is a cycling light that I carry uh, because it's super powerful if you're out early taking photos. Um, but it goes for a headlight for a bicycle, that's what it's for. All right, now diving into the main, the main event. Here we go. Some of the things that have changed for me this year are I've picked up two Fuji cameras. Now, one is the Fuji X-T4 right here with the 23 millimeter lens. Uh, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about some of these things I have on here. I have a, a base plate from uh, Peak Design, the anchor links, uh, wrist strap right there, added a uh, wood grip and L bracket so I can put it in the tripod easily for portrait orientation. Fuji X-T4 is a mirrorless camera. I'm uh, wholeheartedly into the mirrorless um, cameras and I thought I would try to add some experience outside of Canon this year. So I picked up Fuji and I, I'm also gonna talk about the X100V. But 4K, 60 frames per second, 10-bit, um, 422, um, especially on the external recorder, I think it's 420 in body, um, great great pictures coming out of this camera. So this is the main camera inside this uh, inside this bag right now for me. Um, you'll also notice right here, I have uh, just the everyday messenger pouch, I think is what it's called. And right now this is just organizing and storing batteries for me. So I have two cameras, the X100V and the X-T4 uh, that come with me in this bag. And so they take different batteries and this is just to keep those organized. All right, you'll see a Ma uh, Manfrotto mini pod right there, uh, SD card case holder right here. And so that's helpful to keep your SD cards protected. You'll also see two RodeGo wireless mics. And so these are for recording interview. I love the audio on these, um, simple. Uh, they just clip on right here and uh, they're line of sight only. So just keep that in mind but they have great audio and I also have an adapter. So if you're doing an interview, you can put this little adapter in and take two audio signals in from both road goes. All right, so moving on from that, we have another audio solution right here. And this is the, this is the, Ro, um, this is the Movo, uh, I think it's the X-T10. It's a great shotgun mic, very slim profile. Uh, it's nice they send you two of these little uh, kind of uh, shock mounts, which is nice because this one broke, so I can replace that with the other one they sent me. Uh, we also have ND filters, and uh, that's for this uh, lens right here. I need to actually add some other ND filters for other uh, filter sizes. I have the Godox V860 flash, which is awesome for off-camera flash as well as on-camera, but I'm using it for off-camera flash. now. Somewhere in here there is, yes, somewhere in, somewhere in here there is a trigger. So this is the Godox X-Pro for Fuji. And you'll see there's a little F right there on the base. Somewhere, you'll see there's an X right, an F right there on the base to indicate it's for Fuji. And so these help you take awesome pictures with dramatic uh, strobe lighting. Now, to go with that, there is, you'll saw, see right there, there is a grid with the MagMod system, this little magnetic uh, band right there, and the MagMod sphere. So those are other lighting uh, items in my bag. Now, what we're getting down to is the selection of lenses that I carry with me. 
First and foremost, the 10 to 24 wide angle. I picked this up used, it's a great value. I got it for about $615, it's about $999. So it's an awesome, awesome lens for wide angle. And then, and then I have the Helios 44-2 58 millimeter lens. It's manual focus only. And I've been uh, playing around with manual focus. I'll put some pictures up on the screen I've taken with this lens. Haven't quite got the hang of it yet, but it is about $69. So super good value for that lens. Uh, and that's right there. Now, are you ready for this? This is a 30 year old lens. It's a Canon 100 to 300. Uh, it kind of has a slide barrel zoom right there. And uh, this is an awesome, awesome lens. A friend of uh, mine, gosh, maybe more than 10 years ago, his father passed away. He found this in the garage with a Canon bag and he said, do you want this? So I've had this for a long time and I've been breaking that out and using that. And here's a Canon uh, 85 mil. And more importantly, what allows me to use this lens or this lens or any other Canon EF mount lens is the, I want to say Viltrox, but there's another name too. Smart Fusion ND Throttle Adapter. So this goes X mount to EF mount, and there's a built-in ND filter. So I'm just gonna put that up to the camera right there. You can see that as I turn it right there, it starts to get dark. You see that? Sunglasses for your camera. So it's awesome. It has about eight stops, so it's really, really, effective really really powerful and that allows you to um, have an ND filter on these uh, EF lenses when they're on your camera uh, on the X-T4. All right so that is the selection of lenses this is just a lens pouch right there for extra protection uh, there's the hood right here here's a GoPro and a case I've been doing some free diving I'll put a link to a video up here of me free diving uh, some tips uh, I've been picking up. I've been interested to take my mirrorless camera underwater, so stay tuned. We'll see if that happens in 2020. And then right here, uh, Peak Design Capture Clip. Uh, what I typically do is I put this on my belt right here, and then I clip this camera in like that. And then I can walk around and have this on my hip uh, while I'm shooting, super comfortable and it's great for lightweight cameras like this. Now the Canon with like the 28 to 70 lens, that really pulls on your belt, so that's a different story, but it's great for this X-T4. And then I also have a um, cold shoe mount here that has two other mounts, so like a light and a, a microphone like this one right here. So that allows you to mount two different things up top. You put your microphone there, and they put a vlogging light there. This was a gift from Pablo, Buenos Dias Imagery. You should check out his channel, I'll put a link to it. Uh, base plate for a tripod, some uh, lens cap, body cap, lens cap, body cap. And what is down here? Um, another Peak Design base plate for a tripod and another little thing for a light stand. All right, I think that covers all the main things I have in my camera bag. Um, so you notice that a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff goes in here and it's not that heavy. And so one of the things I wanna talk about is why Fuji? Um, this year I wanted to try something new. It's not that I was stagnant, I just felt like um, something, uh, a new camera system would help me grow, help me understand, kinda concretize what I know about photography um, based on photography, not just a certain camera manufacturer. And so, um, ooh, where did this come from? Oh, here we go. Flash goes here. All right. Like that. Trigger goes here. Mic goes here. ND filter goes here. Road goes go here. This goes here. All right, so it's a nice, tidy little package, and it's not that heavy. And, oh, sitting right here, the whole time, sitting right here the whole time has been the Fuji X100V. So let's bring it out. The Fuji X100V, I credit it with revolutionizing my experience with photography this year. So let's, let's take a minute to talk about this. Uh, 
This little camera has brought joy to me. It's simple, it's got manual controls, tiny flip out screen for street photography, not articulating, not um, as fully uh, advanced a screen as I would like to see, but it's been great. Um, little aluminum lens caps, kinda, kinda chic. Uh, people talk about the Fuji having a lot of style, and it's true. The Fuji has a lot of style. And so that's been interesting. Um, putting the focus on aesthetics of the camera experience has been nice. Um, and it takes amazing, amazing images. Um, the JPEGs out of the Fuji are great. And sometimes I feel like even after I spend time on the RAW file, the JPEG was as good or sometimes better than, than my edit. So that's also engendered a learning process in my own um, editing uh, skills. So. The Fuji X100V is an awesome, awesome addition this year, and uh, I'm looking forward to learning more with Fuji and Canon next year. So in 2021, you'll see me shooting Fuji, you'll see me shooting uh, Canon. Primarily, Canon cameras are for work and clients, and this is for my own uh, personal journey with photography. And so I really thank you for joining me. I ask that you would hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and just, uh, if you're interested in Fuji and Canon cameras, stick around. Next year's gonna be a great year and I'm looking forward to sharing more with you along the way. That's it. Peace out.